Hi guys, it's John here with um, part 2 of the ZMR 250 1.5 build. As I said before, the, um, the arms are from a 2 point build, but my frame is from an original ZMR. So far we have got all the soldering done, the um, nose is all soldered up, all the wires are plugged in, the nose has been um, flashed with the firmware clean flight, I prefer clean flight because on the clean flight I will show you these you can use these lights, LEDs, different colours so, so far we're all up there on top the motors are all nice and neatly soldered up and as I said before the ACs and the radio receiver all nice and tidy there. So <coughs> I'll just give you a quick look at the LEDs. I'm hoping this is going to weigh a bit less than the Welcome to Open TX. Thug version, the 250. Says ZMR 250, but I've got thug arms on it, which are quite wide, a lot wider. They're tough, really tough, but they're a lot wider. <coughs> I'll just put this back on. for the electric to check just before I start fitting all the rest of the frame together. Now I've got the lights on a switch so I can switch them off if I want. There we go, lights off, lights on, got my buzzer because it's a bit hard to find in long grass sometimes and I've got my modes. Acro 3D aerobatics, acro stabilized. So we've got them set up. I have my arm um, on a switch, and if you, I don't know if you'll see the lights, but the lights got a little indicator down there. Got all the motors in the right way. I've yet to enable one shot, but time to put it all together. So the frames all together now, went together nicely. It's uh, probably one of my tidiest builds so far. I do get a bit tidier a bit tidier. You learn as you go along you pick up little tips and tricks. <coughs> well I thought I'd share this tip with you. I've left one of the antennas off. If you can see there's one of the antennas. Now what a lot of people do is they use the um, zip zip tie trick and put, put the zip tie on there, put some heat shrink over the top and then do that with the heat shrink. Well that's fine but <coughs> I prefer this way because if, if anything should happen to this antenna, which sometimes they do, they get a bit frayed and they're, they're easy, they're easy to, to replace but having to strip it out of the heat shrink and um, the zip tie which also bends it, it, it's a bit of a job with this I'll just snip that snip that cable tie, snip that cable tie, slide that tubing off, put a new aerial, slide the tubing back on so that's why I left that one up there and all that is is um, a servo not a servo control arm of um, Bixler 3 I believe and I just sprayed it up green so it goes with the rest of the um, quad now press <coughs> like I say I'm quite pleased with this there's a big ways let's see what it weighs Oh, it weighs nothing. <laughs> it weighs. Oh, that needs to go on there. 408 grams, which is considerably lighter than the Thug version of the ZMR, which is it's fine. <coughs> I'll just show you the Thug. This is having a camera transplant and a wiring transplant for the FPV night camera to go in. That's a public version and that comes in at 461 grams. It's a beast. It's heavy but 
the big props on it and a foresail, a big foresail. She can carry that, no problem. She's a lot of fun. But that'll be me um, <coughs> nighttime flying one. So I'll go back to this one. Don't need the scales. Need the scales. Now this one because it's got smaller motors on it, I'm not planning to use six inch props, but because I put this here, because I'm not planning to, don't mean that I'm, I might not want to. So I have made sure that there is clearance for a six inch prop. There is clearance for a six inch prop. But like I say, I very much doubt I'll be using six inch props on this. At most I'll be using these props, bull nosed, um, cut down to 50-45s. And I'll, I'll do a video on that in the easiest way I find to cut these props down to 60-45. We'll just test it everything and everything works fine. We'll just plug the battery in. <coughs> Like I say, I do like the lights. <clears throat> the only thing is, the lights that are on there are, um, you can only use them on clean flight and you can only use them if using PPM with this bus because it goes into the um, nase itself. You power it from where you power your ESCs and then it's signal port 5 for turning it off, turning different modes. Acro, it's all programmable. Stabilize. I don't know if you can see that bit of light change. Stabilize. Acro. Stabilize. Indicate it's, it's a pretty thing. I'll just do a quick check on the camera. Make sure that's working. Yep. Camera's working. Everything's working just as it should. So, that's the build. I hope you enjoyed it. And Hopefully you might like a few of my ideas. Um, it's very green. The ZMR250 1.5. <clears throat> I will do a part 3 on um, how it flies. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching.